What's up guys, it's Argon657 here today. I bring you another Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultimate Wi-Fi battle. This battle is going to be against Wimar. His channel is in the description below. So, um, we're going to have a UU battle. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, let's see how it goes. So, he's going to start off with his uh, Mammoth Swine. I'm going to start off with my Scizor. And uh, I'm just going to go straight for the U-turn because I'm pretty sure I can take an Earthquake. Um... But he's probably going to go for the Stealth Rocks first, because usually Mammoth Swines are Focus Sash leads. So I'm just going to go for the U-turn, try to break its Sash. Um, but I do bring it down to low health, so I can just go into my Manectric and then go for the um, Flamethrower to knock him out. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for that Flamethrower. He's probably going to go for the um, Ice Shard um, to get a little bit of chip damage on my Manectric. Um, my Mega Manectric over here, so, um, so yeah, the Mammoth Swine is gone. The only downside of this team is that there's no entry hazard removal. So if my, if any opponent that I face hazard stacks on me, even sticky webs, toxic spikes, and all that, um, I have a big chance of losing, so, um, yeah, I've had that before, though, on Showdown, so, um, uh, where the opponent hazard stacked on me and I ended up uh, losing the battle and stuff like that. But anyways, he's going to go to his uh, uh, Zygarde and I'm going to go into my Gligar expecting him to uh, go for the Thousand Arrows because I can easily take a Thousand Arrows uh, being that I am uh, bulky with the uh, Violite and stuff like that and I'm also uh, physically defensive. So he's going to go to his um, Chestnut over here and I'm going to go for the U-turn because... Um, I want to go to my cleft key to try to get up the uh, spikes and stuff like that because I can also hazard stack on him. Uh, he doesn't have any form of defogging or um, rabbit spin or anything like that. It doesn't look like he has any entry hazard removal. So I'm just going to set up my own layer of spikes. He's going to also set up his spikes. So um, yeah, so he's going to withdraw. He's going to go into his um, Bisharp. And um, I'm going to go for the spikes over here. And I kind of make a bad misplay over here. Um, just not. I should have went for uh, another layer of spikes. But I wanted to get some uh, damage off. Uh, because he might have gone for the sword stance. He's going to go for the iron head. He gets to flinch. I'm going to go for the play rough again. He's going to go for the iron head. And um, I flinch again. So that's unfortunate. So the thing is, I'm now only going to be able to set up two layers of spikes. So that's very unfortunate. So um, I'm going to go for uh, that second layer of spikes before he finishes me off. Um, so yeah, um, my cleft key has gone. So I'm going to go into my Crawdon. And I'm just going to go for the Aqua Jet over here because I really need to, um, you know, try to take it out. Um... But he ends up switching out, so that's pretty good. He's going to go back into his chestnut, and I'm just going to go for the um, uh, Aqua Jet. Uh, just to play it safe, um, he's going to hit me with a Rocky Helmet, so that's eh, not too good. Because uh, Crawdon's getting worn down so easily. Um, I'm going to go to my Manectric over here, expecting him to maybe uh, to not go for like a Drain Punch or something like that. Or to go for like a leech seed or something like that, I don't know. Or maybe set up some hazards, but he ends up going for the Drain Punch. But with the Intimidate, I'm able to take that. And I'm going to predict him to go into his Zygarde. Because um, it's kind of obvious he's going to switch out. So I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice. And I'm going to be able to nail the Zygarde and knock him out. So that's really good. So I'm, And I don't have to worry about the Thousand Arrows or anything like that. So... Um, but he could just come in with uh, Bisharp and just go for Sucker Punch over here. Um, which he's going to do over here, but it actually turns out he does not have Sucker Punch later on. Because uh, I went for the Thunderbolt, I was thinking, okay, uh, I must have uh, he must have predicted me to do something else. Um, but I found out that later on that he did not have Sucker Punch. So getting rid of Bisharp is like really huge. Because now I don't have to worry about getting swept or anything like that. So he's going to go to his Beedrill. I am going to sack my uh, Manectric because uh, I don't really need it anymore. Um, although that Suicune uh, is going to be a problem. But my Mega Manectric's at low health. So it would have uh, 
get knocked out from the uh, entry hazards and stuff. So I'm going to go to my scissor, and I'm just going to go straight for the bullet punch. I don't want to take any chances and stuff like that. I want to try to take out this Beedra, but he ends up um, switching out into his Suicune. So um, he's going to get hit with the uh, entry hazards and stuff. So um, I'm going to go for the bullet punch. And, um, Bullet Punch is not going to do anything to a defensive sweep then. So he's probably, like, a uh, Calm Mind set, seeing the leftovers. Um, he's probably that, uh, Krokun, uh, set that's been going around since, uh, 4th gen. So he's going to go for the Calm Mind. And I'm thinking, okay, uh, he's probably going to start setting up on me. I do need to act fast. Um, so yeah, uh, he's going to go into his sweep coon. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should just go for the U-turn, um, just to get out of there, uh, which I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the U-turn and, um, just get out of there, and I'm going to go into my Latias. Um, I can just, uh, 1v1 his, uh, Suicune because I do have the Psy Shock, and Psy Shock does hit on the physical side, so he gets set up as many Calm Minds as I want, as he wants, but when I get to, when I set up Calm Minds as well, and I go for a Psy Shock, the, the, I'll be able to knock out the Suicune, so, um, you know, everything looks pretty good so far, um, so I'm gonna set up my own Calm Minds, and he's gonna end up going for the Scald, so Scald's going to do a decent amount, uh, well, not really, it's not gonna do that much damage to, uh, Lyas, because I do resist it, and I do have plus one Calm Mind, even though he has plus two Calm Minds, so it doesn't really matter, so, yeah, my Latias, um, because Lyos can only 1v1 Suicune if it has Psy Shock, otherwise it just gets walled by Suicune. So he's going to go for a Calm Mind, and he's going to set up another one. Now it's going to be a roll if I knock him out, um, the uh, Suicune, because it really depends on uh, how much damage I do. Because the Psy Shock did a decent amount, it looked like a 2 hit KO, but with the leftovers I'm not entirely sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a second Calm Mind, just, just in case. Um, he goes for, uh, an, another Calm Mind or something like that, but he's gonna go for the rest. So, I mean, it's looking, uh, pretty bad though, but luckily for me, I have the, uh, Latias with, uh, Psy Shock, so I can just go for the Psy Shock and knock him out. Um, he's gonna withdraw his Suicune, so, um, he's gonna go into his Chestnut as Death Fodder. Um, I'm thinking, uh, he's probably gonna be able to go into his Beedrill. And he could probably pursue from me because I've seen uh, BJ's carry pursuit uh, from time to time, just to uh, pursuit trap uh, uh, Manectric or Septile or something like that. So he's gonna go into his B drill over here, his Mega B drill, and I'm thinking he might go for pursuit, uh, expecting me to switch out. But um, I do switch out, but he ends up not going for for the pursuit, so that's really good. So I get to keep the Latias for his Suicune. He's going to go for the knockoff, and um, he's going to knock off my uh, Gligar. I was trying to sack my Gligar anyway, so um, I'm going to go to my Scizor over here, and I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch just to knock him out, because um, Beejo is going to uh, pretty much die coming back in with the Stealth Rocks and the Spikes that I've set up on his side of the field. Um, he's going to go to his Suicune now. And the thing is, um, I do have my Choice Bandit Crawdon, um, and I could easily just go for the knockoff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to switch out over here, and I'm going to go to my Crawdon, because he is uh, fast asleep. Now, the only thing is that I have to hope that he doesn't get, like, scald. I hope he gets, like, Calm Mind or something like that. So he's going to go for the Sleep Talk, and um, he's going to get the Calm Mind, so that's really good. Um, so that means I'll be able to, um, I, I'm able to basically switch in for free. Um, and I was also hoping he would get rest as well, because it would, uh, it wouldn't be effective. Um, I'm gonna go for the knockoff, and, um, it's gonna do a lot of damage to Suicune. And he's gonna be fast asleep, and because I'm faster than him, I'll definitely be able to take out the Suicune, so. Um, he's gonna go for another Calm Mind after going for the Sleep Talk, but it doesn't matter now, because I'm gonna be able to finish him off and um i'll be able to uh win with a 3-0 victory in my favor so uh that was a pretty good battle hope you guys enjoyed the video 
Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment below, leave a like, and uh, subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I will see you guys later.